Hello everyone, happy to see that the Hu Tao banner is out. Now the big question is, should you pull from this banner or not? Let's not waste any time and go straight into it. The Hu Tao banner is with Hu Tao and 3 other 4 star characters, Xing Zhou, Xiangling, and Xiong Yun. If you are just starting the game, this banner is actually a great one where you can automatically make a great team with Hu Tao right away, and here is why. Hu Tao herself is a main DPS role that is far superior than anyone in your current team if you are just starting out, and is the best element for elemental resonance, which is Pyro. Xing Chou is a Hydro character, and his skill and his burst both apply Hydro to enemies, especially his burst, since he is able to constantly apply Hydro on your enemies for 15 seconds. If you are able to get into Constellation 1, you can get one more sword for his burst, and even better to see 2 to extend that burst and do more damage to your opponents. He is perfect for Hu Tao since you are able to constantly do Vaporize, which does 1.5 to 2 times or even more damage depending on your elemental mastery and which elements is applied first. Although you might already have a Xiangling, you want to get at least one more to get Constellation 1. The reason is, she's able to reduce opponent's pyro's resistance with Goba by 15% for 6 seconds, which is perfect, since Hu Tao will mainly be doing pyro damage due to her skill. In addition, having Xiangling in the team gives you a fervent, flame, elemental resonance, increasing your party's attack by 25%, and her skill and burst dishes out extra damage even if she's not on the field. Last is Chong Yun, and unfortunately he might not be too useful for Hu Tao. His skill changes your party's melee damage to Cryo, but Hu Tao's skill cannot be overridden making it useless unless you get Constellation 2 which makes his field reduce cooldown for skills and bursts by 15%. But even with that, his skill is still pretty useless, so I don't know if it's still worth it. You could use Chong Yun for applying Cryo to do Melt, but having Xing Chou to apply Hydro to Vaporize will be more consistent to have in comparison since Chong Yun can't constantly apply Cryo on the enemy. So because of that, you'll still have one last party member you need to be putting in. And if you are just starting out, I would be recommending either Kaya or Barbara. Here's why. Compared to Chong Yun, Kaya will be able to apply Cryo much more consistently with his fast cooldown on his skill. And his burst stays out like Xing Chou's for 8 seconds. So the times when Xing Chou does not have his burst ready, you can have Kaya's burst out to instead do melt damage in the meantime with Hu Tao. In addition, Kaya's role is going to be a battery since his energy recharge increases as he levels which will speed up the process of getting your burst ready for all of your party members. Barbara is a Hydro character and when you use her skill, you are able to apply Hydro constantly as you're near an enemy to cause vaporized damage. And you can do this while Xing Cho's burst and skills still recovering. A major con in this is that you will be constantly healing from Barbara's skill, and Hu Tao's ability and burst damage is further buffed when her HP is below 50%. However, if you're having difficulty with healing, Barbara will definitely help, especially since she's in the field with Xing Chou, you will have Hydro Resonance giving your party extra healing by 30%. The only issue with Hu Tao if you're starting out is that she doesn't have the best free-to-play polearms that maximizes her utility. Crescent Pike is decent due to his high base attack and ability to deal additional damage from auto attacks, but we don't know how often you will be gaining elemental orbs as it only lasts for 5 seconds. Also, its substat is not the best, since you will mainly be doing pyro damage with Hu Tao, making it useless. Prototype might be good as you get energy recharge, meaning you will be able to use your burst much more and you can deal more damage with its passive as it lasts for 12 seconds. However, you won't be able to get 2 stacks for sure since it is based on the amount of times you use the elemental skill, and Hu Tao's cooldown is 16 seconds for her skill, and its base attack is slightly lower than Crescent Pike's, but I think this will prove to be more useful than Crescent Pike itself. Don't get Dragon Spy. It's the worst version of Crescent Pike. The last free to play weapon I've heard will be good is surprisingly White Tassel, even though it's a 3 star weapon. This is because it has the best passive, which increases normal attack damage by 24%. However, this is only for R0 White Tassel. The thing is that Crescent Pike and Prototype are hard to refine because they are craftables, meaning it's really difficult to be able to refine them. However, White Tassel is easy to obtain in comparison to those two, so you can easily get to refine 5. Instead of 24% increase on your normal attack damage, you will actually get 48% instead. So you get the biggest buff from White Tassel, and you get the best stat boost, which is crit rate percent up to 23.4% which scales well with Hu Tao's crit damage percent increase. The major con, obviously, is that it has low base attack. If I were you and free to play, I would either choose Prototype or White Tassel. 
I'm going to do more research on this and do a future video to see which one is better. But even if these aren't the best in slot for Hu Tao, her kit's still so good that these weapons will still carry your heart. Overall, this banner is an extremely good banner for those who just started the game. So I recommend pulling from this banner. And even if you're not starting the game, Xing Chou is one of the best supports in the game. And Xiangling is one of the best 4 star sub DPSs in the game. So I highly recommend pulling from this banner, whether you are just starting or a veteran player. I hope this video was helpful for all of you. I'm definitely going to be doing more research to see if White Tassel or Prototype is going to be better for a free-to-play player. And hopefully I will see you all in that video.